I upgraded to the AMD Ryzen 7 9800X 3D from the Intel Core i9-14900K, and without a doubt, it was the best upgrade I've ever made. I had struggled for months with the i9-14900K, keeping it in my rig after my initial review, hoping microcode updates would resolve the crashing, the instability, the headaches, but the problems only got worse. It all started unraveling after reports of issues in Tekken 8 surfaced in South Korea. And my own experience led me to Facet's anti-cheat logs for Counter-Strike 2, which shockingly pointed to a CPU bug. The blue screens were relentless, each citing the anti-cheat driver, and worst of all, the damage appeared to be permanent. No update could save my chip from the crashes. I ended up underclocking, undervolting, clawing back any semblance of stability until I hit 4, 1 GHz, far below its 5, 6 GHz boost clock at that point. I was done. Enter the Ryzen 7 9800X 3D, my saving grace. The switch was a breath of fresh air. Not only did my PC stop crashing, but I gained performance across the board, from gaming to thermals. It felt like I had unleashed the full potential of my system. To give you some context, I last ran an AMD system in 2021 before switching to Intel's i7-12700KF when I built a new rig, my older AMD setup became an NAS running the Stillstrong 3700X. I knew AMD. I knew Ryzen Master, but after some years away, it all felt slightly unfamiliar, especially Infinity Fabric's deep relationship with RAM. RAM placement caught me off guard during the first boot, but I should have expected that Intel never prepared me for those nuances. Still, nothing too wild for a PC enthusiast. Precision Boost Overdrive was another learning curve back in the day. I avoided it because of thermal constraints, but this time, I dove deep into the rabbit hole of BIO settings. Finding optimal tweaks for performance without sacrificing temps. And here's the crazy part, everything just worked. My Windows install? Still intact. Games? Perfectly fine. No slowdowns. No instability. I know people recommend reinstalling Windows after a CPU swap, but I didn't need to my system rolled with the punches like a champ. And then came the real test, CS2. Baldur's Gate 3. Valorant all ran flawlessly. No bsods. No rendering issues. DaVinci Resolve? Smooth, virtual machines, seamless, honestly, it was a night and day transformation. But let's talk raw specs, the Ryzen 7 9800X 3D comes with a beastly 96MB of 3DV cache, and in titles like CS2 and Valorant, that cache delivers a real competitive edge. We're talking more stable frame rates, zero micro stuttering, and buttery smooth gameplay even in the most intense firefights. And it's not just performance, it's efficiency. Two. I measured idle power draw between 20W and 30W, and under max load, around 150W. Compared to the i9-14900KS Monstrous 256W power spike, this was an enormous drop in heat and noise. Plus I've experienced less thermal throttling and more consistent performance during marathon gaming sessions. And I know, on paper, it might seem like a side grade, but trust me, this was a massive upgrade in every way. Titles like Ratchet Clank, Rift Apart and Cyberpunk 2077 now run like a dream, and the experience is so fluid that it honestly feels like I upgraded way more than just the CPU. What's even more impressive is AMD's long-term commitment to platform support. The AM5 socket is planned to last through at least 2027, while Intel's LGA1700 ends with the 14900K. I now have a future-proof path forward, with potential CPU upgrades on the horizon. Unlike the Intel system, which has already hit a dead end. The deeper I dove into this transition, the clearer it became that AMD is not just winning on performance, but also on platform value, stability, and user experience. It's unfortunate that Intel has been slipping. Steam's hardware surveys already show AMD gaining ground steadily. Even Intel's new Core Ultra 9 285K feels like a reactionary move. And honestly, it's just too little, too late. Intel's gaming dominance has officially been dethroned. Productivity may still be a mixed bag, but AMD is closing in fast there too. From non-stop crashes and thermal meltdowns to cool, efficient, and stable gaming sessions, the Ryzen 7 9800X 3D transformed my entire PC experience. And honestly, I've never looked back. If you're on the fence about switching from Intel to AMD, let me tell you, this might be the upgrade you didn't know you desperately needed. For more real-world performance breakdowns and deep tech dives, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned right here on Techverse.